And a great friend of mine who was long gone, um, who I used to hunt with all the time, a great hunter and fisherman, Bishop. But he was a great institution in Niagara Lake. He lived up the River Road a little ways. But Bishop, Bishop's Fish Market was an institution in my day. And uh, I mean, it's long gone out of business, but they were the fish market. The building's still there. It's just up from the hotel on the river. Yeah. Just up, up toward the town from the Niagara, Miriam, but right on the water. And that was a great institution in the old days. All sorts of fish. Every now and then they, they catch a sturgeon. And uh, the sturgeon is full of caviar. So one of the bishops would call my father and said, We got a sturgeon in if you want some caviar. The sturgeon is this big, they're enormous fish. And um, so someone went down and got a pile of caviar, which we had for a couple of days. But I used to go fishing occasionally. It would pike, and there are a lot of different kinds of fish, bass, pike, some trout. Yeah, the Lake Erie was not big on trout. Pardon my nose, I got it. Anyway, that, that fish market was a big thing. I don't know who would let you know who's connected to that anymore. Goring Ball, one of the balls, is still around. There may be one or two still left. It must be 100 years old by now because they're older than I was. Anyway, a lot of people got fish, bought fresh, 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 fresh fish from the lake, and it was very good. That there were a lot of fish around, and there were always fresh fish down in Bishop's Fish Market.